updates. Ibus can survive without Nigerian government, but Nigeria cannot survive without oil. Renu Omokri disclose. Renu Omokri, who is an activist, also humanitarian and spokesman to the ex-president Gulo Jonathan, took to his verified Facebook page to disagree and expressed his discomfort to how the current government is being ruined. If you don't respect Ibu, consider that without government assistance. Alaba Electronics Market generates 4 billion annual sales. When you add Onicha and Oba Market, the total comes to 6.5 million US dollars. Add Ladico Spare Parts Market, it jumps to 8 billion US dollars without oil. Nigerians' federal government cannot generate what the evils are generating without government. What do we learn from this? The Igbo can survive without Nigerians' government, but Nigeria's Nigerian government cannot survive without oil. In reality, who is better off? If you don't respect Igbos, consider that without government assistance. What do you learn from this? The Igbo apprenticeship. The system is not only the world's largest venture capitalized scheme. It has produced more US dollars billionaires per capita than either Harvard or Yale universities. To understand money, you must understand the Igbo race. Igbo is synonymous with success. No other race on heads with, with perhaps the exception of the Jews, have, have a better ex execute to be poor as the Hebrews. Militarily defeated and financially devastated in 1970, they overcame that is less than a generation and prospered above only and any other ethnics in Africa Bar none. The Igbo apprenticeship is not only the world's largest venture capitalized scheme, it has produced more US dollar millionaires per capita than either Harvard or Yale universities. To understand money, you must understand the Igbo race. Igbo is synonymous with success. No other race on earth with perhaps the exception of the Jews. Have you have a better excuse to be poor as the Igbos? Militarily defeated and financially devastating in 1970, they overcame that in less than a generation and prospered above any other ethnics in Africa. These are the Igbos. Thank you viewers for listening to this news. Ah, Omokri is a man that I so much enjoys his articles. Ren Omokri, you keep lifting the Igbo's mind and Igbo spirits up. He especially is ordained for a time like this. He is another voice crying in the wilderness on behalf of Igbo people. And so much love is words. He has been supporting Igbos and that is the fact. I have been reading Renomokri's articles about Igbos and Sundry. I so much love and cherish his write-up and his words. He is bold, courage, and the level of his articulated points. When he told, when he said that 
not to be a beggar, that Igbos are not beggars, that Igbos are known for are not known for such a frank talk. I so much love that. I so much love that it, it, statement because it's an intelligent and courageous statement. I pray that God will bless Omokri and his family for supporting Igbos all the way. Because a lot of people they don't love like Igbos. A lot of religious, a lot of um like Yorubas and uh, Awusas, they never liked Igbo. And they don't know that Igbos, without Igbos, this word is nothing. Without Igbos, they don't know that they can never succeed. That is why they have so much um, beauty and hatred in their mind for Igbos. That is it. That is the only sin the Igbos have committed in this country. Despite the intimidations and suppressions, they still keep rising. They still keep rising their heads and they refuse to go down to oblivion. But God is always with the Igbos. God is always, always with the oppressed. Thank you, Omokri, for all this words i know that the yorubas would definitely and the yorubas and the fulanis answers would definitely read this article and know and have it in mind that they can never survive without the evils and this grudge and this hatred that they have for evils would definitely be melt would definitely be melted in their mind would definitely melt in their mind and they will see Igbos as their savior if they don't see Igbos as their savior and Igbos um, are separated or is separated from this country they will definitely suffer from this they will suffer a lot and they will start begging Igbos to come back and that will be too late for all this so now they should try and re-raise such an hateful mind from Igbos so that they can survive so that Igbos can be can still maintain their stand remaining in the country because if, if the Igbos leaves this country then the, the Awusas Yorubas will not be able to survive even with oil minus Igbos Nigerians even with oil minus Igbos Nigerians are still on a time bomb yes because because of the mentalities of africans but they think that evils are their problems all the countries in africa with oil are they giants or king Kong? jewish are the backbones of americans and americans respect them a lot but Nigerians are humiliating the Jews, Jewish in their countries with envyness. But they will regret everything when it will be late. So this is how the Awusas and the Yorubas are also envious of the Igbos. And if their care is not taken, they, will, they don't put this aside. They will definitely regret everything and by then it might be too late that is it so i think the market when no more cream mentioned generates much more than eight million naira per annum we should be looking at a figure of 12 to 15 million us dollars the eagles are truly blessed and definitely the greatest tribe in sub sahara africa surely they are the greatest tribe among the black race worldwide they are the most swagalicious blacks of the on the planet no story about that so viewers this is all i have to say concerning this news 
your comments is very much needed drop them below